RSV cases are continuing to rise in Colorado and the cases have health officials worried. This graph shows the number of hospitalizations in the metro right now more than 300. Denver 7's Micah Smith reports on what parents can do to protect their kids. What started as a slight cough turned into much more for five month old Lily Price. Unfortunately, her breathing was more labored and her congestion was more um, severe than we could keep up with. Mom Brianne Price took Lily to Children's Hospital Colorado, where the family waited three hours while nurses hooked Lily up to an oxygen machine in the waiting room. South campus was completely packed. So we ended up um, being transported by ambulance to the main campus um, where a bed had opened up. Our hospital continues at all of our sites to be really functioning at 100% capacity. Dr. Kevin Carney says the hospital is seeing a lot of cases like Lily's. We are seeing some hints of um, hope in that we think we have probably peaked in terms of our RSV. But the latest Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment numbers show cases remain high. Where the majority of hospitalizations, 93 percent, have been among our pediatric population. RSV has impacted a very large number of our school and child care facilities in the state with 255 outbreaks. Doctors say to fight the virus this Thanksgiving, wash your hands, wear masks, and keep sick kids at home, even if it's just a cough. Brianne says also look out for these symptoms. One thing that I didn't know is that like little babies like Lily, um, they like head bob when they're having a hard time breathing. Um, it was a big thing that the nurses taught me that um, like if she's like breathing into her ribs um, in her belly area. Brianne says Lily is still battling a lingering cough, but doing much better. And she hopes her story helps keep other kids safe. Reporting in Denver, Micah Smith, Denver 7.